Hi, everybody. My name is Jesse Morris. I'm the CEO of Energy Web, and I couldn't be more excited uh, to have you along for the journey uh, in the coming sessions to learn about everything having to do with Energy Web. Uh, we've got a series of presentations and sessions set up on everything, ranging from our technology, who we are, what are the different combinations of Energy Web technologies that have been applied to different solutions, uh, and also diving deep about where these different solutions have been deployed across the planet, uh, with which companies, why companies have elected to work with the Energy Web community, and so much more. So thank you so much for tuning in. And we're going to start uh, with a bit of an introduction to Energy Web. Uh, just to get everybody acquainted um, for all of those newcomers, but also for longtime Energy Web uh, customers and other individuals and organizations who have partnered with us. Who are these folks? What do they do? And what have they built? Um, so let's go ahead and jump in. Um, this first piece will just be an introduction. And again, everything that I'm going to present on here, there will be additional sessions in detail that you'll be able to jump into with other experts from the Energy Web team about everything here. But this should give you a bit of a map for how to think about all of these sessions uh, and what's coming next. Uh, so let's go ahead and show. In this presentation, uh, I'm just going to be giving a bit of information about Energy Web, who we are, what we do, where we came from, who we work with. And then we'll speak about our core product, which is this technology solution called the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System. So that's just a little bit about the core product that underpins uh, everything that's going on in the Energy Web ecosystem. Um, and then I'll talk about how that product is being applied. Uh, we have two core solution areas in Energy Web. Uh, one is called Green Proofs, and the other is called Digital Spine. And these are the areas in which uh, the product, Energy Web Decentralized Operating System, is being applied. So we're going to briefly describe those. And then at the end of this session, um, I'm going to give a bit of a flavor on what it's like to work with us. There are a variety of ways to work with Energy Web, and this session is going to give a bit of a taste of what those different ways look like. And again, everything I'm talking about here, there will be much deeper dives uh, in additional sessions. So this is really just going to be scratching uh, the tip of the iceberg. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first, a bit of a background on Energy Web. And we can go to the next slide here. Um, just at a, a very high level glance, we are a nonprofit organization that is relentlessly focused on decarbonizing the global economy by creating open source software solutions for energy market participants. Our entire mission and lifeblood is about uh, this confluence of the energy transition and digital technology um, and injecting as much open source technology into that space as we can. Energy Web Technology is uh, already deployed and in use by somewhere over 100 energy companies across uh, pretty much the whole planet, uh, 17 time zones, as you can see on this slide. So we don't have the whole planet, but that's quite a few time zones in coverage. Uh, we're not a large organization just as the foundation. We have about 45 team members uh, with a variety of hubs in the US, Asia Pacific, and Western Europe. But in addition to those team members, we have worked with individuals within all of those different energy companies and with a variety of partner organizations uh, since our founding back in 2017. And at the highest level, uh, uh, really, one way to think about Energy Web is we are doing the work both of an organization like the Linux Foundation that is um, curating and developing a rich open source library, uh, while at the same time doing what organizations like Red Hat do which is take that open source technology and also deploy it. Um, and that helps us pay the bills because in addition to supporting the organization with things like philanthropy and grants, we do offer a variety of different software development services and service level agreements with our customers to help make all of these solutions run in the wild. So that's a little bit of a flavor about who we are and um, what we do. So before we jump in on our key product um, and the way that that product has been applied, we just want to zoom out even from um, the, the specifics of some of these energy things for just a moment and talk about two key challenges that we have run into time and time again as Energy Web as we have worked to bring some of these software solutions to market um, since our founding. The first is that with many of these different corporates we work with, um, 
the exchange of data and then processing of data is beginning to present some very new risks and liabilities for the energy companies that we work with. And the context there is that a lot of different uh, businesses and consumers uh, in the context of the energy transition that the global economy is going through are increasingly needing to share and process uh, sensitive data. Uh, examples of sensitive data might be location of different customers, data from different meters, data from different assets, be that assets like electric vehicles, assets like large industrial facilities um, that are creating some new kinds of commodities like sustainable aviation fuel. There is a lot of data coming from different companies that needs to be exchanged and in some cases processed so that these different organizations that are part of the, these new supply chains can trust each other. And because of those requirements, this is really increasing the scope and depth, depth of a lot of different liabilities that come with that data exchange. So we're really just encountering many new kind of legal challenges and liabilities that are being faced by energy companies that have to exchange a lot of sensitive data. So that's something that we've learned since our founding. The second piece is that if you start thinking about um, claims around ESG that are being made by a lot of different corporates and also energy market participants in a variety of different supply chains, those claims, um, as anyone who just reads the news any day can see, are really being met with an increasing level of skepticism and in some cases, legal scrutiny, because in many cases, those claims uh, really don't have a lot of transparent supporting data behind them. Uh, most claims uh, in the ESG space really tend to be quite high level and not backed by much data that is transparent and verifiable by the public. And that really reduces trust in this combination of both energy majors and corporates who are purchasing some of these new zero or low carbon products that are absolutely going to be key to a successful energy transition. So these are two big sets of challenges that we've had a lot of experience with uh, over the past several years. And in response to that, we built a product with our ecosystem called the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System, which is the next slide. Uh, so the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System is the primary technology platform that is used to configure and support different solutions in the Energy Web ecosystem. And if, uh, on this next slide, uh, what you'll see is that, again, this is uh, best thought of as a platform that is a amalgamation, a combination of different open source technologies and standards that are out there. Uh, this whole platform is designed to attack both of those challenges I was just talking about. Uh, it's configured to dramatically reduce the risks and liabilities of energy companies exchanging and processing data. Uh, it enables uh, corporates and other companies to really customize uh, governance for different pieces of enterprise software that involve a lot of different companies um, and really support a variety of different consortia focused use cases. This entire um, technology is cloud-based. It's focused on enabling really simple integration with third-party data streams. And importantly, um, the Energy Web decentralized operating system here, we aren't betting the farm on a single kind of data protocol or schema. Companies all around the world use different communications protocols to exchange data. This product is totally data protocol and schema agnostic. And the reason it's designed in that way is because it is meant to support as many use cases um, as possible. So that's just a bit about the product. And the next slide just breaks apart how this decentralized operating system works. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail here. We'll have additional sessions that's going into detail on what the technology is, how it works. But at the highest level, there's a variety of identity, um, so uh, identity access management solutions within the operating system. There's a couple of specific technologies that are used for the literal um, exchange of data between these different organizations. And then there are a variety of smart contracts um, that are used within multiple different blockchains to perform some specific work relevant to these different um, solutions and challenges that we've encountered over the years. And at the bottom of this slide, as you can see, there are a variety of Web3 technologies, including multiple blockchains and a new technology called worker nodes that we will be speaking about later um, that form typically a very key part of all of these different solutions that I'm describing here. 
Um, so again, there'll be some more information about the product, about these technologies, how they work, how they work um, in partnership with each other to unlock value here. Um, but that's a bit of a tease about what this thing, the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System is. So that technology, again, Energy Web Decentralized Operating System, is really focused on helping enterprises unlock business value um, via two different solutions. Um, because we have this one technology platform, but we really work with a variety of different companies um, that are interested in using that technology to attack one of two sets of areas, which is shown on this slide. Now, later on, you're going to see presentations on both um, what's shown on the left here, which is a digital spine solution, which is really focused on accelerating grid decarbonization by providing market participants with something for data exchange. And on the right, you're going to see multiple presentations on something called green proofs, um, which is more about helping global energy majors and uh, renewable energy buyers um, achieve more uh, transparency. And just to dig in on both of these for a minute um, while we're doing this introduction session, if you think about the left, uh, this is really focused on this solution that we call a digital spine is really focused on the fact that um, things called distributed energy resources, as shown on this slide, these are assets like you know electric vehicles, rooftop solar systems, batteries, heat pumps, any of these different devices that are coming online out in the wild, um, they can actually be very powerful assets and give electric utilities a totally different way for thinking about how to plan for the future of electric distribution networks, but also those assets can help balance the grid in close to real time. So then instead of using assets like natural gas power facilities, you can actually use networks of these assets to help balance the grid more efficiently than things like thermal power plants. But the trick is many electric utilities and regulators, they just don't have the tools needed to make things like electric vehicles, like stationary battery storage systems, an integral part of the grid. And that's what we focus on with the digital spine is to provide electric utilities and regulators a digital infrastructure to make it as easy as possible for those various assets to rapidly exchange data um, and create value. So that's a bit of a tease about what's going on with the digital, digital spine piece. And we'll be spending some more time on that shortly. If we spin over to the right side of this slide, um, the other primary solution that the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System is supporting is something that we call green proofs. And the context for this one is that if you think about products like um, many corporates are interested in what's called 24-7 matched renewables. So these are basically um, corporates that want to buy renewable electricity that's coming from specific facilities in specific places on the grid at specific times of the year or of the day even. That's a very new kind of product. There are also new products that are listed on here. Sustainable aviation fuel. So that's fuel coming from uh, sustainable feedstocks uh, instead of oil that is used to power airplanes. Or if we start talking about things like renewably produced hydrogen, all of these different commodities are very much key to decarbonizing various sectors of the global economy. But what's happening is that in each of these sectors, because these are relatively new supply chains, market participants have really yet to align on different tools and standards for tracing and tracking um, the carbon intensity of these different commodities. And so that's what Green Proofs is focused on. Green Proofs is a tool that enables market participants to construct digital registries for tracking and tracing with a great level of um, transparency and granularity where all of these different um, commodities are coming from, what are the different feedstocks coming into them. So in later sessions, um, there'll be a variety of presentations focused on green proofs and some deep dives um, specifically into how green proofs is supporting some solutions right now for sustainable aviation fuel and also um, shipping, how green proofs is helping a variety of different organizations in the maritime shipping sector uh, decrease their carbon footprint. So that's what you can expect on the solution side. <clears throat> So the last piece um, I'm going to leave on this just simple introductory setting is just to, a little bit more of a tangible, how do organizations work with Energy Web? And the simplest answer for that is that we really work with energy market participants 
in three different ways. And sometimes we work with them in all the ways shown on this slide. So the first way is that um, all of the software that I'm describing with the Energy Web Decentralized Operating System um, is starting to become available purely as a service. So there's now a website where um, the general public will soon be able to log in and begin configuring their own green proof and digital spine solutions uh, via this thing called Launchpad. And again, this is uh, just a, an as a service kind of offering that many enterprises are familiar with for things like uh, CRM solutions or others. Um, the first few features have been rolled out for this, but um, uh, throughout the rest of this year, there will be additional features and products released enabling energy market participants to configure these solutions without even talking to energy web uh, individuals. So we're really excited about that. And that's the first way um, there'll be additional information provided about this enterprise launch pad and those as a service um, uh, offerings uh, later on. The second piece is for organizations that need a bit more help. Um, and that's really the red hat model where it says build with energy web. So here, this is really our tried and true model. Uh, energy market participants come to us, or in some court cases, consortia of energy market participants come to us, and they say, we would like one of these solutions, please work with us to build it, and in some cases, operate it. So this is where we work very closely with individuals from all of our customer companies to actually build these different solutions, be they digital spine uh, data sharing solutions, be they different green proofs registries. In addition to configuring this software and deploying it on behalf of these customers, in some cases, we actually support them. Uh, we provide a variety of different support levels depending on the business requirements of the customers we work with. But again, this is primarily the Red Hat model where we work in close partnership with our customers to get solutions off the ground. The third way of working with Energy Web, um, which is a bit different from other kind of traditional offerings that are out there, is that um, we have a, a broad membership program where corporates and even some startups in the kind of broad digitization and energy transition space actually become members of Energy Web. And what that grants uh, our members access to is one, uh, additional learning and training. So it's a really effective way for organizations to learn about the Energy Web decentralized operating system, how to get hands on with it. Um, they get support. So members actually get support from our team to be working with the Energy Web decentralized operating system. Uh, we also work with members on helping them structure really early stage experiments and prototypes. And then the last piece is uh, members of Energy Web are entitled to run different nodes on Energy Web infrastructure. A key part of the Energy Web decentralized operating system are a variety of different Web3 technologies. And members of the Energy Web are actually able to run some of these nodes to support this decentralized infrastructure that enables a variety of these different use cases. So hopefully that's a useful um, kind of set of guideposts for who we are at Energy Web, what you can expect from the following presentations. But again, thank you so much for joining. We're excited to dive deeper on all of these topics and uh, we'll speak soon on the next topic. So thanks everybody and we'll see you around the corner.